Yes. But, uh, um, you know, we have a shear in San Diego uh, that uh, you have to be there at that exact time, just like you fellows are here exactly at the same time every day. And, uh, you know, like the rest of the world, I do work and I'm not able to do it all the time at the same time. So I did, I was able to learn about this shear through, uh, I don't know if you guys know, Mendy Rubenfeld, who lives in uh, Poway, California, uh, from the infamous Rabbi Goldstein Shul. Um, and uh, he told me, he says, hey, you know, if you, uh, you should check this out. So I did a little more research, and it happens to be my brother was in Ole Torah back in the day, a few years ago, and was in Rabbi Oster's class. So my, my brother, Yashurin, said, hey, this is, uh, he's a good teacher, you'll enjoy it, give it a try. And... Uh, and I did, and it's been very successful for me because uh, I just find it um, not just appealing and not just interesting, but, uh, you know, I learned in Chonoch Lenar here in 1984 through 1987, and I learned in Marstown for a year. So a lot of the way Rabbi Oster gives over the shear appeals to me very much, you know, because of the, the Hasidic background and, and the information that he's, you know, passing along that's not just in the, in the, in, in the, in the uh, Gomorrah. Um, and, and, you know, just knowing that you guys are here every day and you're putting in that effort, you know, it doesn't matter what time I tap in. Sometimes it's four in the morning, five in the morning, because I start work at uh, 6 a.m. Um, sometimes I, I finish work at 1.30 in the afternoon. So, you know, I have gaps in my day where I'm able to tap in. Sometimes I'm having to do three classes in one day, to be honest, to catch up. But uh, just to have that ability and to have that uh, comfort um, is, is very, very nice. And um, it's very unique uh, because, like, uh, I'll tell you, you said something funny that you said there's no competition in Shurim. So, unfortunately, we have a rabbi in La Jolla who doesn't like competition. So, you know, I mentioned to you Rabbi Hajjaj, Yehuda Hajjaj is the guy I learned with in La Jolla. We had a Tanya class that a rabbi asked us to stop because it was t we were doing it at the exact same time as he was having his class down the block. That's so, m my point is, is even though you think there's no competition in Torah, unfortunately we do see that and, and uh, you know, so that shouldn't be out there. You should, you know, break the walls of competition and you should continue this good work that you're doing and, uh, and know that it is... It is uh, it's really appealing to a lot of people around at least, you know, I've told a few guys about it. I don't know how much they use it, but uh, it goes around and, and there, it does help, it helps me personally. And, um, you know, m my wife even likes it. My wife listens to it once in a while when we're in the car and so forth. So, so it's not just, uh, not just a, how does it help me? Um, okay, so. Before I got into brachas this time around, uh, to be honest, I, it w I was looking for daily classes because uh, I live in a very remote part of the, of the country where if you don't go and find the Torah, you know, it's not going to find you. So this is a very unique way to be able to, to learn Gomorrah on a daily basis and also get, like you're saying, a little, a little bit of Hasidus and a little bit of, uh, you know, just warmth. It just feels like Rabbi Oster does put a very big effort into it, and and uh, it comes across. And, and to be honest, it's funny sometimes. He's a very funny guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not my strong point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's very helpful. You know.